Hey guys, welcome back from Pixel Insane. Today I'm just going to show you finally that we have Iron Man, aka Tony Stark, aka Robert Downey Jr. with his eyes closed when he dies in Avengers Endgame. Finally, someone had to do it and I did it. And for the returning subscribers, this is not just a Blender channel, but it's also an After Effects channel because I do all my posts in After Effects and um, a lot of things in After Effects. So this project was entirely done in After Effects. So if you're new to the channel, please do to consider so and watch these two videos right here. The Spider-Man what the fuck? You know that one and also the remake of that one because i actually remade it in 20 frame per seconds corrected and the final one is this one the battle at liberty island with all the spider-man and sandman electro and lizard so make sure you check those out let's dive into the video and i'll show you how i closed his eyes so here we have the project where you can see he's closing his eyes pretty cool so what did I do? Let's turn this off for a second and we have the original file. So the first thing I did was tracking the footage. So I chose the nose, which was a pretty stable point to track, was not moving much. And obviously I tracked the scale and the rotation to make sure that was not moving. And the track was really successful. And that was the first step, as you can see right here. Second step was to find a frame or a little clip where Robert Downey Jr. aka Tony Stark closes his eyes or blinks, something like that. So, and I found a couple of them. Uh, I found this one, which was really cool. And then I found this one as well. I used both of them. This one I use because it's more um, high resolution for the main one, the, the first shot which is this shot right here. And the second one, also because I flipped it, um, I used it for the second shot, which obviously is this one right here, where Pepper kisses him. Um, so I figured out to use both of them. Let's go back to After Effects on the first shot. So after that, um, on the pre-comps, what I do, I imported the clip and I kind of tracked it. I stabilized the motion. I can actually show you. So I took this one right here, this clip, and I place it right here and then something like that and then it closes them and something like that and ending and then trim to comp and here we have the whole clip where it closes his eyes after that it's just a matter of stabilizing it so stabilize motion and again rotation and scale oh, let's bring this back a little so let's choose I don't know uh, a point that is stable right there and then the nose again I believe or the tip of his nose or the tip of his lips something that is not moving probably the nose is fine after I stabilized the motion I trimmed it with a mask and saved it as a MOV file with an alpha and as I did the same thing with the other eye which is the other one right here and this is the other eye as you can see and on this part of the project, because the eyes were closing pretty fast, I literally stretched the, the motion to 346 and then I blended the frame. So it's like it's closing the eyes pretty slow, which works perfectly. And here we have them right here. and voila obviously after that was a matter of matching the color and uh, feather the mask a little bit so here we have it um, this is without the curve colors and it's just a little reddish but it works pretty well same thing for the other eye obviously this one was a little brighter so i had to match the color and everything else and uh, voila and this one is done for the second one um, it was a little trickier but not that much uh, same thing I need to track so I needed to track some part of the the clip itself for this one I used Mocha AE and I created two masks right here as you can see them and I track them back and forth and the track is really really stable except at the end that we have the fading out but I fixed it and as you can see it's super super stable because I managed to create this um, mask right here following the eyes, the eyebrows, so it, it has more uh, pixel to, to follow. And after that, we go to the pre-comps as well. And here we have the eyes separately. Of course, they're following because they are attached to these nulls right here. And here we have them right there. 
and the same for the other one we just needed to color match the the eyes and I use the color matcher and then some curves as you see before and after this is before let's remove this ones for a second there you go and then with the color matcher and the curves as you can see it's a little blue but after that this is the final result And that's it for this video if you're not subscribed yet please do to consider so give us a like and comments below and let me know if you would like to see something else similar to that and i think tony stark would like to say something to you guys yeah it's tony stark you know who i am and i'm telling you to subscribe and all the other fancy stuff because the insane is a nice dude come on well thank you tony and thank you all for watching and i'll catch you on the next one ciao